one month sit at home coming in sat is by biafra government in SI. Simon Ekpa said so. <laughs> My people, you don't read though. As it be like this now, the information we would get now, now be say Simon Ekpa don't come as I can't say Ingo lockdown sad is for one month. Reason to face the Nigeria army and the police. He say he will make sure that he chase them out of sad is. <laughs> no be smart, you know. As it be like this now, he said that this lockdown is going to be in some offices, in some Nigeria offices in South East. That is not going to be everywhere that will be locked down during this time. Wow. However, I'm going to play the video for you to watch as it is talking before we come back and continue. Stay tuned and watch the video. Do not forget to stay there for Blabas Gis and share this video. My fellow Biafrans, friends and well wishers that uh, are observing this uh, uh, tour of Africa today. Uh, I am not here to make long speech, as usual. I'm just here to change the dynamics of everything. Today, I want to use this opportunity to announce to entire Biafrans all over the world our next phase of the Biafra liberation. The next phase of the Biafra liberation is the forceful delegitimization of the Nigeria terrorist state within Biafra land. What do I mean by this? Our next phase is enforcement. Enforcement of the closure and the lockdown of every presence of Nigeria for the next one month. Our next one month lockdown is going to be enforced. For the very first time in the history of the Biafra liberation, we are enforcing the lockdown of Nigeria within Biafra territory for one month. What did I say? Enforcement. We are going to use force. The Biafra Liberation Army for the very first time will engage the Nigeria terrorists in quest to push them out of our land and we are going to have a test. The test will be for complete one month. We will lock down the offices. The offices to be locked down in Biafra land will be listed in days to come. We're going to list all of them so that nobody will say they don't know about it. And of course, we will make sure that civilians in Biafra land are protected. Our guns and ammunitions and arms will never go against civilians. This targeted eviction and delegitimization of Nigeria has become a must. It has become inevitable as we continue to fight the terrorists within our land our aim and objective is to completely eradicate Nigeria. And of course, we are going to have a test of what is to come after December 2nd. So the announcement for the one month lockdown of Nigeria system within Biafra land will, will come in a week or two weeks to come. We will give you the date from when to when. And of course, also list the offices that will be locked down for one month in Biafra land. And like I said, we will enforce it. We will enforce it with force because we are fighting a terrorist state with guns. And of course, one of those offices will be barracks. One of those offices will be police stations in under Nigeria. One of those offices will be government houses. So you don't need ordinary stick to enforce that. It is a test that the whole world will sit and witness. The time has come that our own freedom is taken. Our future is in our hand. And what we are doing today is to make sure we protect the life of our women and children. So my fellow Biafrans, in the coming weeks, I want everybody to pay attention to the updates that will be coming from our handles. The delegitimization of Nigeria within our land is taken to the next level. And there's going to be enforcement. And remember, if we do not destroy Nigeria today, Nigeria will destroy us. If we do not end the terrorist state of Nigeria, the terrorist state of Nigeria will end us. We cannot see and sit and watch a state that kills its own citizen, that have no regard to human dignity and have no regard to women and children. That kind of state is not a state anybody can support. We've seen the massacre of, of Biafrans 
massacre of Christians, massacre of many indigenous nationalities in other parts of Nigeria. They are as human as us. They have nobody to speak for them. They have no government in exile like you do. They have no Mazenam Bikano like you do. They have no Simon Epa like you do. They have no cabinet members in the government in exile. They have no de facto government in the homeland. Nobody speaks for them. Nobody fights for them. They have no liberation army. They have no resistance fighters. They have nobody to defend them. And these people are getting killed every day. We need to make Nigeria very, very uncomfortable. And believe me, the more Biafra fight Nigeria, the more we save life in other parts of the country. Especially the life of the Christians who have nobody to speak for them. We are going to draw these people to our land and neutralize them. Like Mazen Amdikano said, that's exactly what we're going to do. So I want every Biafra to understand that during this one month lockdown of the Biaf of the Nigeria terrorist state institution in Biafra land, our businesses will be flourishing. People will go to work. It do those that are Biafrans, if you are have if you are a business person in Biafra land, you will go to your shop, go to your market, nobody will disturb you. We will make sure that your market will be protected. We will make sure that nobody will attack you in the market. We will make sure that when the terrorist army and police come, we will be in the street. The first time the Biafra forces will be on the street. This is going to be this one month that is coming. So our market will open. Our businesses will open. And let me also tell you that when people say that, oh, Simon Ekpa is now, uh, you know, attacking the government directly, you think we will start attacking the, the government from the beginning? It is a step by step. It is a gradual process. We have come to the point that we have conditioned the Biafra people. We have conditioned those in our land and our people know exactly what we are doing, why we are fighting for them and the reason they have to obey and also give their trust and their loyalty to the Biafra government. And today we've succeeded in delegitimizing Nigeria and they are no longer, uh, you know, uh, answerable to any government, any Nigerian government officials. I want to also announce to Biafra people that we have recorded over 50 million votes today. Over 50 million votes in the Biafra self-referendum. Can you beat that? Over 50 million votes. And I want you to understand that these 50 million people has given us their mandate. They have signed and say, fight for us. We have given you the mandate. Fight for us. That's exactly what it means. And for that, we are going to test run the lockdown of the Nigeria system within Biafra land. What I'm saying, take it very seriously. I said enforcement is against Nigeria terrorist army, against Nigeria terrorist state, against Nigeria terrorist air force, custom, anybody wearing uniform and carrying gun under Nigeria. You are a terrorist in our land. And this one month, we'll use it to test you for what is to come on the 2nd of December. I have no other speech to give. Call this thing and let it go far. Biafra has come. We will fight our way out. And this fight is in accordance with how we want it, when we want it, and how we are going to want it. It's not about Nigeria dictating how we fight it, like they did in 1967 and 1970. We will never go into conventional war with Nigeria. We have designed a way to defeat them. And it is guerrilla warfare, and of course, they know what it means. We will never ever allow the Nigeria state to continue to kill our women and children like I have done in the past. So my brothers and sisters, fellow citizens of Biafra, we have come to defend our land, our life, we are fighting for survival. It is a fight to finish. And I want you to understand that the fallen kingdom has risen. Thank you. Yeah, my wonderful people, welcome back as you have watched that video. Please, I want you to also share and leave your own opinion in the comment section as they heard. What is your thought in this statement coming from Mazin Simon Ekba?